Hey guys, so one of my friends is getting married and I told her I would make a bridal makeup tutorial and so here it is. Um, I'm totally wearing a dress. I don't know if you can see it from my camera angle because I don't have one of those nifty little cameras that you can flip around and see yourself. But this is my version of a little wedding dress and it's just a little white sundress but I thought it fit the occasion. Um, and then I have this awesomely intricate uh, bridal updo. You see my, my side ponytail? <laughs> Yeah, so I hope that uh, I hope this helps you guys, um, and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, we are going to start off with a primer. Um, this will keep your makeup from creasing, um, keep it on longer, and just make the colors stand out better. Um, this is Bare Minerals Prime Time. Um, it's just like a little sample of their foundation primer. So I'm just gonna get about a pea-sized amount of that. And just rub it all over my face. Um, make sure you get your eyes too, so um, your eye makeup won't come off and it won't crease. And then you just want to let that sit for a couple seconds before you do your foundation. So now I'm going to move on to foundation and um, if you have pretty nice skin and just want a light look, then you can use like a tinted moisturizer or a really light foundation. I'm going to show you how to just mix things um, because you don't want to look super caked up and heavy on your wedding day, obviously. Um, so I've got two foundations here. One is Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup, um, and this is a light color. Um, and then I have Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. Now these, I love these foundations, um, they're great coverage, they dry matte and they stay on all day. Um, and they're pretty waterproof too, but um, they have a really horrible selection of colors. So if you see this and you see my skin, this does not match at all. I mean this matches when I'm tan, but not right now. So I'm going to mix these because I like the staying power of this and I like the color of this. Um, and don't mind my fingers, I was painting yesterday and paint doesn't come off very easily. So I'm just going to take my hands and just put a little bit of um, the Rimmel 25 hour lasting foundation in there and then take some of the Neutrogena. See, just like that. I mean, that's probably even too much, but it's okay. And I'm just gonna mix it around with my fingers. And then once it's about like that, we have like the color we want and then the staying power we want. I'm just going to take my fingers because it's the most natural way to um, give your skin like a flawless kind of coverage. Um, if you use a brush, you run the risk of caking too much makeup on and it won't blend as easily. So I just like to use my fingers. So we're just going to work in sections. important step in my opinion that a lot of people skip over is going around their eyes with their foundation. So see all this veiny redness? You don't want that and if you um, use like a really pretty eyeshadow no matter how pretty and expensive, expensive it is it's not going to show up like you want it to if you have veiny red eyelids. It's like painting you want um, you'd rather use like a plain blank even canvas than one that's already been colored on, right? I mean, that just doesn't make sense. Okay, and then just get a little bit under your eyes. So if you have to, look down to find where your dark circles are. And then we're just going to pat this in, because if you rub, you don't, you'll don't you rub um, all the foundation off. We just want to pat it in so we get a nice, even coverage under our eyes. Okay, now that might be enough coverage for you. Um, but if you have little blemishes that peek through like this, just take a small brush like this um, or a q-tip or something. I wouldn't recommend using your finger because you can wipe it off easier um, and you want to really concentrate it with a smaller tool like a brush. So you can use your foundation, see, just so you don't waste your foundation, or you can use a concealer like this one. I'm just going to use whatever's left on my hand to stab that in. And the trick to concealing blemishes is you want to pat it on, pat it on your blemishes, and then once you kind of run out of product on your brush from placing it on your blemishes, 
Um, then you want to go back and pat around them. So start off close, kind of like a little tornado, and then pat bigger and bigger. And that will make sure you don't have like a splotch of um, concealer right there. But most people put it on their blemish and they just rub it. I mean, that's kind of counterproductive because then you're just rubbing all the concealer off. So. And then um, you can just use whatever's left and get a little bit more under your eyes. Now, for concealing under your under eye circles, you just want to get the dark spots. You don't want to go all the way up to right underneath your eye because that's going to make your eyes look smaller and closed in. You just want to put it right in the dark areas. Because if you put it in the dark areas and the light areas, then the dark areas are going to look lighter, but the light areas are going to look lighter too. So what you want to do is blend the dark with the light. So you only want to put it in the dark um, areas so they're as light as the light areas. Does that make sense or am I just rambling? I don't know. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so just again, just pat it in. You can layer this coverage before your powder as much as you want to cover your dark circles. And remember, um, even if you don't normally wear a lot of makeup um, in photos and stuff, especially wedding photos. Um, there's going to be a lot of flash, a lot of different lighting factors that are going to contribute to making your face look really washed out. So the point of natural looking wedding makeup, even if it does look a little bit heavier than what you would normally wear, you want that. Um, what we're doing is redefining the lines of your face. Um, kind of just like if everything's been washed out, we're just kind of tracing over all that just to make sure um, that you look natural and your face stands out in pictures. And then, of course, don't forget to take whatever is left and bring it down your neck. Just a little bit, though. I just, like, pat it, put it right on my jawline because you don't want that dreaded makeup line. Look, the sun's coming out. You can go a little bit behind your ears and onto your ears. And if you really got the wrong foundation color, um, then take it all the way down to where your dress ends. I mean, um, you just don't want a makeup line. Okay, now that you have your whole canvas blanked out and smoothed out and concealed, you're going to go in with a powder that matches your skin tone, the lightest part of your skin, because think about it, nobody's skin is all one color. So um, what looks the fakest is when girls put tons of foundation all over their face and then just one shade of powder all over the face because nobody looks like that. So we're going to redefine the planes of our face. Um, but first we need to set our liquid foundation because it's still sort of moist. I hate that word. So I'm going to use uh, Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. This is a really great pressed powder actually. Um, it's light coverage and shine control. So this is just super light. Um, so this will work. And then I'm just going to use this Studio Basics fluffy powder brush and just kind of, I'm just kind of dabbing it in the powder because you don't want too much powder. And then you're just going to dab it onto your face, especially over your blemishes because if you like buff it in, then it's going to um, remove the concealer underneath. So we're just going to try and set it lightly just to dry and soak everything up so nothing moves throughout the day or night or whatever time your wedding is. Um, especially go over your eyeballs because um, if you have a slippery surface underneath your eye makeup then it's just going to slide right off so you want to dry it up. This acts as a really great base or primer. You don't even have to get one of those fancy eye primers. Just foundation and um, powder will be great. And then make sure to go down your neck a little bit. Okay, and now we're going to take a slightly smaller powder brush. Let's see. 
like this one and dip it in that light powder. Make sure um, there's no creases, your uh, concealer hasn't settled into the lines under your eyes. And we're just going to pat this down there to dry that up and keep that on all day. Okay, now we're going to go in with our dark con uh, dark color. Yeah. Um, you can really use any brush for this. It doesn't have to be a specific contour brush. I'm just going to use a slightly smaller fluffy brush, but what this is by e.l.f. It was like a dollar. But what I do is I just pinch it like this. Um, and I'm just going to use this Bare Minerals. Um, it's just called Tan. It's like this. And it's quite a bit darker than my skin tone, like this. Um, but the thing is, you do not want sparkles on your face because flash photography flash photography, I'm sorry I can't talk, is going to pick up on that and going to make you look like a shiny mess whereas like real life it might look fine but um, flash picks up on a lot of unwanted shine. So I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush and I'm swirling it around in here just to give it all evenly distributed um, and now we're going to put the um, contour back into your face. So what you want to do is lightly sweep on the sides of the forehead I get a little bit at the top too. Make sure it's in the hairline because you don't want it to be like white, brown, white. So buff that into your hairline. Um, now we're going to go down the sides of the nose and this is where I pinch it like this. This will also slim out your nose. Um, we're going to go a little bit down the nose just like whoop. Um, Get a little bit more product. I'm going to suck in your cheekbones and pinch this, and we're just going to go through the backs of the cheekbones. See, like that? Make sure you blend it back into your hairline. We're going to go on the other side. We're going to go on the sides of the temples, right at the chin, and then the lip, and then kind of along the jawline, and over the ears, and then blend a little bit down your neck. Okay. And um, my cheekbones look really crazy, I know. It's okay. We're going to fix this. Trust me. You're just going to take your clean powder brush. And we're just going to swirl that around to blend this contour all in so it looks natural. Because nobody's face is all one color. <laughs> 